Hey everybody, Temple Grower here today. A nice day out for once. Uh, um, I just wanted to kind of go through my my trimming procedure uh, for everybody. We get the question a lot on the forums, and uh, people in real life ask. That's one, that's one of the most common questions I would say when people are thinking about growing: is how do I trim? Um, so I figured I'd make a short little video uh, about my methodology. I like to do the wet trim, um, you know, manicure all the buds uh, right right when they're harvested, uh, so they can dry kind of evenly and individually, like that on my drying rack. But um, commonly, people will just chop it right about down here, assuming that's this is this is a small plant, obviously, but you can scale it up. Um, yeah, you'd cut down the, right at the, the base of the stem, and then if you like, trim off these uh, bigger fan leaves. If you don't like, you can leave them on and just hang them like that to dry and deal with it later. But I like to go through all that work, I guess, um, when it's freshly harvested. Um, I don't know, there's really, there's arguments for both ways. The dry trim say they, you know, you can preserve the trichomes um, and the resin and stuff like that a little bit better. Gives it a lower and slower dry, which can be smoother, but I don't know. I mean, I really haven't noticed too much of a difference. I've dried both ways, so I like this way just because your scissors, after you're done, get quite gummed up. And uh, scissor hash is probably one of the, if not the best, concentrates or, you know, whatever you want to call it on, well out there, you know, and you can only get it when you harvest. It's super fresh, very terpy, and super potent, just very, very delicious stuff, so worth it. But yeah, I guess we'll get kind of started. Um, basic materials, you obviously want to have everything you need before you start trimming, so in my case, generally, if I have a bigger batch to do, I'll, I'll set up a table and, a, you know, a, maybe my laptop or or a screen or something so I can watch movie or, or listen to a podcast or something. But in terms of equipment, um, the basics you're going you're to need is your trimmers, obviously. I like two pair just in case something happens, you know. Um, these ones are a bit thinner, as you can kind of see. Um, so you can kind of jab them in there a bit better and get those leaves. But these ones work excellent. I mean, Fiskars are kind of industry standard, so that's what I go to. Um, Trim bins, people like the black trim bins with the screen on them. When you're wet trimming, that's not so much of a like an issue, um, with the screen at least, just because the trichomes aren't going to fall off like they would on dry bud. So you don't get that, that hash uh, or the, the keef, I guess, falling through the screen. Um, so that, I mean, you can use it for a bin, but I just use like uh, these things. So like, it's basically like an old, you know, 12 pack or four times 20 pack of pop Coke, I think this one was, and my, uh, you know, from your, um, mason jars that you use for storing your weed, you use the tray, you know, they're, they work great and they're just cardboard. So as long as they're not dirty, then, you know, yeah, so those are kind of what I use. Being that this is such a small plant, we're not going to need a huge amount of equipment in that sense, I guess. So I'll probably just use this for the trim to, to dump the when I cut off the little sugar leaves. That'll, that's where this will go. And my finished buds will go in, in this tray, which I'll then use to weigh. See, I've weighed it already, and then I just subtract this number from the, uh, I don't know if you can see that. That number gets subtracted from the total wet weight, and then I can have a, a decent estimate of what I'll end up dry weight wise. And it's nice to know your wet weight anyway. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get started now. Exciting. So I this plant I already trimmed. You know some of the bigger fan leaves off that were really poking out. They're pretty easy to see and, and get at. I left one branch kind of. Uh, got some got some uh, fan leaves and stuff on there but as you can see you know you don't there's no resin on these or anything like that so not something you'd probably want to keep but yeah all you got to do is you like you get under there you can see where the leaf kind of attaches I don't know if you can see that very well 
but right right about there that's what you want to cut so you just that's the stem obviously so that's gone and then the whole leaf falls off you don't have to worry about nicking resin losing resin um, it's really clean keeps your buds uh, looking nice if that's what you're into but I mean as you work up the bud generally the leaves kind of get embedded a bit more so it's kind of harder to get in there um, let me turn the light on here there that's a bit better hey yeah so as you can see kind of get under there get in there like so yeah I mean not much to it you don't have to be that accurate either you can always just kind of go along along the bud like so trim it like this right and on this plant I mean there's not too much for for sugar leaf anyway so I'm not really worried about keeping much of this trim but uh, sometimes yeah but yeah I don't know you kind of just rotate or the way I do it at least is I you know you pinch your uh, oh I should have mentioned the glove the gloves important because your hand will get extremely sticky and full of resin and you can scrape the hash uh, or the build up off of that and get some nice finger hash same as a scissor hash but anyway yeah so yeah just work your work your way around the bud like so and I just kinda clip off all the the ends of these leaves like I say there's not much for trim like these do have resin on them but there's being such a small plant I'm not gonna worry about keeping it all but yeah I mean that's pretty much it and you can see now it's kind of nice and rounded and uh, when that dries up it'll shrink about well it'll shrink up quite a bit but uh, it'll look nice and yeah I don't know not that looks are important but yeah this I don't know just what I'm used to I guess so but yeah after you're done you know you you clip off or I clip off the the main bud off the main stem and then uh, that's what'll go into the the drying tent on the drying rack, and it'll sit there like that for however many days, seven or however long it takes, and then into the jar. Yeah, basically that's it. I mean, uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'll cut this big, cut the big one off, and I'll show you too. Oh, uh, do it quick. Yeah, so, and I mean, it's up to you how small or how big you want to make your bud, too. Like, this bud, I'm going to probably knock off a lot of these smaller narbs, just for ease of drying. Um, smaller buds dry faster and dry more evenly than a, a giant fat bud, even though this looks impressive. Um, it's not super practical, especially when you're trying to shove it in a jar. It's also difficult. <laughs> so yeah so like I said before I can show you better with the light on now you can see underneath though where these stems like attach right there like right there you just wanna as close to the stem the main stem as you can get just clip that off clip that off and I just kinda always work my way like I said up the bud as, as much as I can without you know ripping off actual bud in the process and once you do this enough, too, you'll kind of get the hang of, like, where you like to stop. Because, um, like I say, my, like, everybody's different. I, and I know people who don't cut off, like, any of this, this little stuff, and they'll leave all of this on. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the, the active ingredient that we're after is in the resin, so I don't see any point of leaving anything that doesn't have, like, a good proportion of resin. I think that's kind of how we all go about it, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, some plants, like I say too, every plant's different. Some are a lot more leafy. This is a really nice little strawberry cough that doesn't have a lot of fan leaf or sugar leaf really even at all. It's very th dense, thick bud. So yeah, these are 
these are fan leaves too here. Like this one is a is a is an actual leaf, but I'm just going to clip off these leaflets because I can't get my scissors really in there. And you know, the amount of plant matter that's left is not that big a deal, and it probably has a bunch of resin on it if it's jammed in there anyway, so it's probably okay. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward technique, I think. Not much to it. And uh, very personalized, right, too, so however you like to do it. But, yeah, this is how I like to do it. So, feel free. Um, that looks pretty good. Okay. So yeah, these two buds here, I'll knock off. Probably, I'll cut up that a little bit more too. But um, I gotta take some pictures of that first because that's a nice looking bud. <laughs> anyway, that's about it. So I mean, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps some people figure out uh, that you know it's not too hard, not much to it. Just uh, just make it your own kind of thing. So if you like the video. Definitely check us out, or me, well, all of us, <laughs> on percysgrowroom.com. I'm Temple Grower. I'm at uh, on Instagram as well as Twitter, mostly Twitter. And, um, yeah, I don't know, like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. If you like, enjoy the video, comment and let us know. Um, let me know more videos if, if anybody else is interested in any other kinds of tutorial stuff. I'm happy to oblige, so, yeah. Thanks for watching.